Hey golf people, I'm stepping up to the first tee with a new set of clubs. Today we're playing the Sim 2 Max. Oh man, these things, I rated the number one irons of the year. I have played a couple rounds with these prior to today, and I will say I'm really impressed with what I saw so far, but this is the proving ground. Carrollwood Country Club. The over under today is going to be plus two. We did just come off an even par round, so that's our round of the year. If we do better than plus two though, that's a win. Plus three or worse, no bueno, okay? I'm gonna walk you through everything I see here with the Sim 2 irons to give you an idea of what these clubs can do and what they can't do, and we're gonna have some fun. It's our turn to tee off, let's go. So what impressed me most about the Sim 2 irons was just how long and forgiving these things were. My normal miss is hitting it a little bit thin, and I found on the simulator as well as the first few rounds that I've played with these clubs that these things are very forgiving on those less than center hits. But the pressure of going low here today, we'll see how things actually turn out. I pushed it. All right, I pushed that one. That was definitely the swing. All right, I've got 162 and I need to get up over this big giant tree. I'm gonna go seven iron here. These clubs, they're pressed a little bit forward from the clubs that I normally play. So they seem to go very long, probably 10 to 15 yards longer than my clubs. But can they get the height? We're about to find out. Oh yes, it just got over, just got over. Did I measure that right? Guys, I can't believe how long that was. <laughs> I had to double check it with my rangefinder. By the way, if you're looking for a rangefinder, playbetter.com, that's the place to buy it. I had to double check that because my normal seven iron is like a 155 club. That was 161 and uh, I flew the green. Well, I guess these clubs are long. <laughs> I can't believe it. Uh, it was right on line. In fact, I'll show you my ball mark here, but uh, it hit the green at the back of the green and just dribbled off. So this was actually a front pin. I've got a big long shot coming back. I could have got there with eight iron, which man, if I can hit an eight iron from 161, I will feel like a real man for once. All right, let me show you the pitch mark. Here's the hole. Let's see if we can find it. Here it is. You can see it was really online. <laughs> There's the pitch mark, which I'm gonna help fix. Wow. And there's the ball back here. Unbelievable. That was a good 20 yards past the hole. That is crazy. Woo. Oh, that was close. We chipped one in last week. That was about as close as it gets right there. Oh, that would have been nice. All right, we got a par. We got our par, but now we got to figure out these distances. These things are juiced. All right, par four here. A little dog leg left. This is the last easy hole before we get into the really tough holes here on the golf course. So I want to get a good drive. Hopefully, have a wedge in my hand. Less than perfect lie here. I've got to. I'm kind of short sighted as well. I've got to fly that bunker. And uh, we got to hit a nice high shot that stops. All right, we came up short there. My hand is actually slipping. It's so humid today in Florida that my hand is slipping off the club. Now I've got an even harder shot. I'm really short sighted. We're going to go 58 degree wedge here. Soft. Soft. Whew. Could be a bogey on an easy hole. It's a par. Now I want to give you a little bit better of an iron test here on the next hole. We're going into really the hardest holes on the course. Three, four, five, and six, all very difficult. First one's a par four here. We're going to have uh, about 390 and very tight tee shot. That second shot should be kind of long. We'll really get a good test of the irons. Hopefully I can hold on to these clubs today. It's really sticky out here. Okay, we're good space there. Ooh, just a little short. 
it is very difficult to hold on to a club and I, I gotta blame, I'm using a towel here, and I've gotta blame some like, that shot definitely was a slip of the grip there. Again, came coming up short, just didn't quite get good contact on it. So uh, we'll see how this progresses and if I can fix this problem. I wish I had another glove, but I don't. I may have to just go uh, barehanded here. Ugh. I deserve a bogey. Now last week on the show, you know I yanked one here and we were in really bad trouble. So I'm gonna play a little different shot here. I'm gonna go three wood and try to fade one, take that big tree on a play. All right, 161, I think we've had that before. Now we cannot afford a miss hit here. I've miss hit a few already and uh, we got away with them because these clubs are very good. Like I said, when you hit them thin, I hit a couple of these thin, uh, they still go straight on line, just a little shorter. We cannot afford to do that right now. 161, I'm gonna go seven iron because long is better than short here. Whew, more troubles. Again, I'm just not swinging it well. I can't blame it on the clubs right now, honestly. They're, they're flying off really good. The trajectory is beautiful. I am just not swinging them well. We gotta get up and down again, guys. The good news is the distance was great there. This is all downhill, so I'm gonna take a 58, hopefully land it kind of softly, let it just gently roll down that hill. Kind of get it up in the air and land it soft. We'll see if that works. Just what I wanted to do, it's rolling down there. Oh, it's pretty good, guys. I don't know if you can see it, but it's good. So far, it's our short game keeping us in this, but it's time for a par three now, so we're really gonna get a taste of these irons. They've gotta come alive or we're gonna be in trouble. All right, 173, I normally take five iron here. That's my normal club with my Mizunos. I'm gonna try seven iron here due to the fact that I think I can get there, which is crazy, but let's try it. Hit it well. It's high for a seven iron. It landed soft. <laughs> it landed soft. That was another thing that I, I was worried about with these clubs, to be quite honest with you. A lot of people think, okay, they jacked the lofts. These things are gonna hit like a five iron. No, these things go as high as a seven iron. That thing landed, I wish you could have seen it. It was very soft. In fact, it actually backed up a little bit. I think we'll check the pitch mark here. That was pushing it a little bit with this club. Um, probably should have gone six there, but we made the green, so you can't complain with that. Finally, a green in regulation. Not sure if you've heard it on camera, but I will say these clubs have an interesting sound to them, very clicky. It's hard for me to explain. It doesn't have the nice crunch to it. It's kind of clicky and high pitched. Slightly off-putting, no doubt about that. I think it has to do with these like, you know Wilson calls it power holes. I'm not sure what TaylorMade calls it, but you can see there's some bl like uh, black resin in there or something. I think that's part of the reason. I don't love that, but I could probably get used to it if I can hit them as well as uh, I struck that seven iron and they go that far. <laughs> well, I actually came up just short of the green. There's the pitch mark and there's the ball there, but it definitely did not run forward. That's for sure. Got about a 30 footer coming uphill. Let's, uh, let's see if we can sink this one and get back to even. Well, plus two is about as good as I've played today, so I really can't complain with that. I mean, poor putt, obviously, that first putt was bad, right up against the fringe, but uh, I deserve to be plus two, to be quite honest with you. So we gotta do better. All right, we're coming into the hardest hole of this nine, although again, I don't think it's the hardest. As long as we hit a good drive and we stay towards the right side of the fairway, center or right, we're in good shape. There's a tree that blocks us on the left-hand side and there's water far left if I hook it, so I do not want to do that, okay? All right, but we got to start scoring. We've got four holes to make it happen here. Not a great drive because my hand slipped, but uh, it's in the fairway anyways. I've got 166 here. I've got to really work this ball, and I have found these in previous rounds that I've played with these clubs. I found these to be very workable, which I was surprised at. For a forgiving club, these can be drawn and faded very easily. Now this is going to be an easy one to draw anyways because I draw the ball and 
we're on a little bit of a slope here, which is naturally going to work the ball right to left. For you beginners out there, when you're on a slope, that's sloping from high ground and your feet are kind of below the ball, that ball's gonna go left. And of course the opposite, if, the, if it's sloping away from you, that ball's gonna go right. So this is a very easy ball to draw, but we'll see how these clubs work in the air. 166, I gotta get probably all of it, judging by last hole. Overdrew that one. Oh, a little left of the green. Oh man. I deserve everything I'm getting right now. Everything I'm getting I deserve because I've only hit one green and it was just barely. I wish I could say it was the clubs, but I really think it's the swinger today, guys. And uh, I'm just having trouble holding onto the clubs and I feel like I'm not giving them a fair test, but we've got three holes to play. We shall see. This is gonna be the turning point of the round because I've got to get aggressive here. Things could either go better for us or they could get considerably worse. <laughs> I hope they don't get considerably worse because it's already been a tough round for me. But this is what I talked about last week, mental fortitude. Nothing has gone my way here today yet. <laughs> and that's mostly due to my own bad play. I really can't blame on anyone but myself. So there's no use in getting angry here. I've just got to play the next shot and the next shot and the next shot. You hear the pros talk about, oh, I'm only thinking about the next hole or the next shot. Really, I've got to do that right now. I need a birdie to get us back to our plus two over under mark. Right now we're at plus three and uh, we are staring a failed test in the face. And I don't want to do that for you with these clubs because they're too good for that, honestly. Here we go. I've got... Uh, 380 basically, uh, gotta hit a good drive here. We gotta make this happen, come on. Irons have to come alive now. All right, we're in the rough, but we've got a great lie, 127. We're going pitching wedge here. Oh, it's right at it, see the club. Get up there, oh, it's a little short. Well, you know what they say, a hole in one erases a lot of sins. We've got 135 exactly to the stick. I'm gonna hit a nine iron because there's a little wind as we just found out on that hole. And it's really muggy and that's holding the ball up in the air. 135, I'm gonna go nine iron. Uh, hung it out to the right. Not a hole in one. I keep coming up short with these clubs and the last few times I don't think it's because of my grip. I've gone gloveless as you've seen and I think that helped. It's just not going as far. Something's wrong. I think it's the swinger, honestly. We may need to retest these clubs, but first we still got to see if we can, <laughs> we can get back to our break even point here of plus two. That means we've got to at least get a par here, worst case scenario, and then we've got to birdie the next one. I was trying to make it, I was trying to make it. All right, we're plus three, so that means it's gotta be birdie. We're going to nine. Long par five, last shot over the water to an island green. Come on, guys. Oh no. Same thing I did last week. Getting a harder swing there to try to get a little more distance, give me a chance to get home in two. That didn't work. Now there's nothing I can do here but punch out and try to give us a third shot and uh, maybe make birdie like we did last week. This is the tree I hit last week and my ball ended up over there. I'm gonna try to get us up at least into like five, six iron range. Worst case scenario, I'm gonna try to hook one here. Low, gotta keep it low, gonna shut the face, got a four iron. Inside to out swing. Settle. Man, that ball just jumps off these clubs. That was actually a little bit too much. Am I making excuses for these clubs? I don't know. I do think that maybe the distances are a little bit inconsistent. 
but the swing's also inconsistent. So you tell me, what have you seen? You guys watch my swing every week. Is it me or is it the clubs? I've got 171, I'm gonna go six iron here. I've got a really small piece of green to aim at. I've gotta fade this ball, okay? So we're gonna see if we can fade this shot around this big tree. It's gonna be a tough shot. We need a birdie. Oh, it's fading nice. I'll be the club. Oh, it's really good. <laughs> we got a chance. Like I said, I am impressed with the way these clubs can be worked. I definitely, you saw the fade there right around that tree. It was absolutely perfect. If anything, that's a little long. So what do I think of these clubs? I do think they are forgiving in terms of right left dispersion, in terms of my miss, which is a little bit thin. These things do pretty well for that. Now, in terms of distance control, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I, I, we don't have ideal conditions. My hands have been slipping. It's been humid here all day long, but some shots just came up completely short. That is not a green in regulation. It's actually long, which means we only had one green in regulation all day. That's not like me, even under tough circumstances. I generally do a little better than that. We're just off the fringe though. We can make this putt. We got to end strong. I need a win. I haven't had any yet today. Now I said it wasn't a GIR, but that's probably my best shot of the day. Seven, eight feet at worst. Pretty easy putt here. It's very makeable anyways. And I'll tell you what, again, where did this thing land? Okay, is that the pitch mark there? That's the pitch mark here, I think. There is always good and bad with clubs. You hit them long, maybe they don't stop as much. That one, six iron in the rough. It was pretty good, but uh, I would have liked to seen it stop on these soft greens. Anyways, we got to make a putt. Well guys, plus three. Honestly, I deserved every bit of that. What do you think about the clubs? Please let me know down in the comments. Do hit subscribe if you haven't already because you just might see these clubs again. We'll probably go head to head against the Mizunos just to put to bed once and for all what's the best game improvement iron, the JPX 921s or the TaylorMade Sim 2 Max. We'll find out here real soon on the channel. So hit subscribe and I'll catch you back here very soon on another edition of Let's Play Through.